like to say that our whole agricultural food system is based on a couple inches of topsoil and the fact that it rains. But what if it doesn't rain or what if it rains too much? Farmers are really vulnerable to weather patterns, but we also have a great strength to challenge and make a difference. CSA farms, I think, are along with all other farms, and that weather is the driving force of, of how we operate. The last three Aprils, we've had dumps of snow, which is not common, you know, like 30 inches one spring, 17, and we had snow again this April. Last year was the wettest year in the history of the state of Wisconsin, and it posed a lot of challenges for farmers. Navigating these changing weather patterns is just another challenge that farmers face in what's becoming a harder and harder economy to make a living. You know, it's 2020 and we have all read about the Dust Bowl, but yet we still haven't figured out a way to make that any better than what it was. What we try to do is mostly no-till whenever we can, and typically if you're not disturbing the soil, you've got kind of a heavier duty corn planter to punch through all the residue and everything else to put the seed in the ground at proper depth. And cover crops, basically that's just trying to protect the soil from runoff and high temperatures and all that kind of stuff to try to keep soil life alive and to try to get some of your fertility that way instead of commercial fertilizer all the time. If you dig out in my pastures that have not been tilled in 20 plus years, the soil is going to be really soft, pliable, fluffy, a lot of root structure and worms. The benefits of managed grazing in regards to the environment are multifaceted. There's a lot less inputs, both in seed, and fertilizer, in fossil fuels, in labor. My pastures are perennial, so it's kind of mimicking natural ecosystems. They are very high diversity, which support a lot of natural wildlife. So you'll see snakes and lots of different grassland birds, a lot of bugs compared to a tilled field where there's just a lot less to support wildlife or soil biology. Certainly crop rotation helps, and more crops you grow, the better for more diversity. You look into nature and you don't just see a pine plantation and that's all that was out there unless it was planted that way. There's a reason why you look at a prairie and there's hundreds of different species of stuff. It's so important for all farmers, large scale, mid scale, small scale, if you even have a garden, to really pay attention to that water, your soil, and think of it holistically and kind of climate smart. When you see a tractor plowing through a field and you can see the dust cloud behind it because it's a windy day and they're losing topsoil and flooding and erosion and all of that, if you were to implement some cover cropping or some stabilizing plants, it would bring nutrients back down into your soil that you could go ahead and use for your crop. There's a lot of roles that farming can play in mitigating climate change. The first is to shift our system to a less carbon intensive model, where a lot of the inputs that we are using, whether it's diesel or fertilizer, produce a lot of carbon in their production. We're going to need legislation that's gonna incentivize a dramatic shift in the way we produce food. Incorporating practices like managed grazing, no-till farming, to use cover crops, to have diverse rotation of crops year round so that we're taking advantage of the soil and its natural capacity to pull carbon out of the atmosphere and store it in the ground where it belongs. The biggest challenge that we face in changing the way we farm across the landscape is just getting people to try something new and getting people to take one step forward in a new direction, even though it might be challenging, even though it might, there might be an unknown component to it. But that first step uh, is often the hardest for a farmer to take because farmers have their system that they know and that they use and that they trust. What gives me hope is thinking about a version of reality where we respond to the challenges we're facing right now with the courage that this moment requires. I think we have a chance because there's a lot of young generation farmers stepping into the scene and so now is the time for them to learn what other options there are. 
I think that this could be a really big kind of turning point. Um, I think that farmers should realize the power that we have to better our environment and take the reins and do what we can. You know, we're at a point where we, we definitely need to change a lot of things that we've been doing in the past, and it's obvious to me that the environment's changing. I think there's certainly things that we can all do to, to make a change, and we all need to do our part to, to do it.